Welcome back to another episode where we get to meet the speakers for the IFC's 2022 conference, um, Jam and the Archetypes, You Can't See Me. So today we have a very special uh, guest. She's not a guest mm -hmm. per se. She's a partner. She works with us. She's been working with us from day one on young and vast motor processing. Um, she's also a naturopathic doctor. Uh, proud to say she she was my student. I hope she always remains my student, but uh, she's also my doctor. She's a very, very sharp, very, very uh, smart and very creative physician. She comes from a naturopathic background. Her name is Dr. Karen Apple, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. Karen? Hi, thank you so much for inviting me here. I am Dr. Karen Apple. I am a naturopathic doctor licensed in Washington State. And what that means is I can be your primary care physician, or I can help with you on specialty care. So if there's something specific that you want to work on, I would love to be on your team. And yeah, I love naturopathic medicine. I love Jungian advanced motor processing. I love the Institute for Conflict and I'm super, super happy to be here. And Christy Foster is with us as always. Christy, you wanna say hello? Hello, Karen. I'm so glad to have you here, especially because you're a naturopathic doctor. I have so many clients that I see that uh, I'm always referring them to a naturopathic because I think there's missing pieces in Western medicine um, that are that could be a little easier for people to access have they know someone like you. So I am looking forward to hearing what you have to share with us about how you help people. For sure. You're also online, right, Karen? So you do do consultation and um, you are other people's physicians online. They don't have yep. to be physically in person. Can you talk a little bit about how that works if you want to yeah. talk to a doctor? For sure. So my I have a physical location in Seattle, Washington, Queen Anne specifically, where I can see patients in office. I can draw their blood, give them IVs, give them injections, whatever they need. Uh, I can do hands-on um, in my office in Queen Anne. Or I can do telemedicine on the computer where we basically do an equivalent of Zoom. And um, so that's totally an option. And I've been really recently loving my online appointments because that's a chance for me to see in the patient's home, see how their environment is. And when they t say something to me like, oh, I recently started this supplement that my great aunt recommended because it helped her. And I'm like, mm. oh, really? What is that? Mm. And they're like, I don't know. I'm like, how about you go grab that out of your medicine cabinet and they can just go do that, bring it over. We can check it out and see if it's appropriate for them. Um, so I love in person because I love being face to face with someone, but I also love the um, ease and accessibility of doing the telemedicine appointments because we can accomplish so much in, in either. So that flexibility is uh, super important. Christy, do you have questions for Karen? Well, Karen, I'm curious about, so you've done the conference we're going to be talking about JAMP and the archetypes when you come to Salt Lake City. I, I would love to hear uh, two parts, how you incorporate the archetypes. Do you incorporate them at all in your work when you're listening to people or what they're doing? And uh, a little bit about your experience with jamp and so there are two separate questions obviously your experience with jamp and how that's helped you specifically yeah for sure so for the, the first question like how do i incorporate the archetypes um in what i've learned through being a part of the institute for conflict and what i've learned from dr hob um well it's it's sort of like having this little bird on my shoulder that's like telling me to keep them in mind because it's like, okay, I meet someone, I'm learning about them, and I'm kind of like trying to see, you know, what 
you know, what's their learning style? How do they communicate? And the archetypes really help me organize that. And then I can shift my communication style and mm. shift how I present material to them in a way that they um, helps them understand in a way they can be receptive to it. Mm. And there are certain things that I do that are very um, specific and ordered. And sometimes that doesn't speak to certain archetypes. They resist that. And so I can, I kind of can pick up on these, this resistance and then, and then, and be flexible. There's, I have a strong queen archetype. And so I want things to be done my way in a certain way. And I am flexible in that I can see when that may not be working for someone and <laughs> that's mm -hmm. okay. Like I breathe and I help them work their way through it and it's, it's totally fine. So I think um, being, just being aware, there are archetypes that are, um, that exist in people and then knowing the um, kind of like highlights, the generalities that go with each different archetype and then working on recognizing those and then seeing, okay, like how can this be used in a way that's beneficial to my patient and beneficial to me so we can work together to meet their health goals. I that's, that's really where I see the benefit of learning the archetypes and like mm. going deeper with them so I can help, help others and, and pr like get past that sometimes initial resistance. Some people may have to, um, healthcare and, and, and those kind of different options. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. It talks more about how people's preferences um, guide their choices in terms of healthcare, in terms of listening, in terms of accepting certain things. And depending on the archetypal pattern, um, that's when um movement occurs right so the more mm. we know the way the pattern works mm -hmm. the more we know the resistance of the warrior the more we know this way of the lover the more we know the certainty of the queen the more we know the um the anticipation or the intuition of the magician so we we move in these realms and the way we move in these realms help us clarify um what our intent is towards certain things and how we view certain things medicine is one of them because we each have a certain um understanding of what that is so the warrior's understanding, the archetype of the warrior's understanding of medicine is when I'm bleeding out. <laughs> yep. You know, so so it's different <sighs> depending on the archetypal pattern um, of how I'm going to ask for help. Um, the magician always wants help, but then they want to rewrite the formula um, <laughs> that's being offered. They want to add and take away things. They actually just want to cure themselves. They don't want anybody else to cure them. Um, that's why Dr. Karen is such a good doctor. She keeps me on task. Um, otherwise, I would find my own cures. So this is why we um, this is why we recognize and talk about the archetypal patterns, because then we understand what the avoidance is. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. We have natural preferences, right, Karen? So tell us about uh, naturopathic medicine. Uh, this is uh, this is a well-established field, and it's been around for decades. But um, I don't think it gets the same fanfare as um, regular medicine. Tell us about what naturopathic medicine is and how it works. And yeah, for sure. So. Um, I, I like the way that you said that naturopathic medicine doesn't quite get the same fanfare as conventional medicine. And I kind of liken that to conventional medicine can be very reactionary medicine. So there's a lot of like bells and whistles and excitement when you like 
fix a broken leg and things like that. It's very tangible. You can see it in action. You can, so it's like very obvious. Whereas, so I guess a lot of fanfare. So naturopathic medicine can be very, it's very focused on prevention. So like, let's prevent injury, let's prevent chronic disease. And that doesn't necessarily have a lot of woo, bells and whistles with it. So it can be a little downplayed and a little maybe even forgotten, but I'm here to tell you that it exists. It's an option. I myself didn't know about naturopathic medicine. I was raised uh, with just conventional medicine my entire life. And I just, um, so that's all I knew. And so when I discovered like there is an entire profession dedicated to prevention, dedicated to working with people on the foundations of medicine, stress reduction, diet, exercise, changing your lifestyle to better support you. These are people like me with doctorates in natural medicine. They go to school for four to five years learning everything that a medical doctor learns. And on top of that, very thorough learning in nutrition, in herbal medicine, in physical medicine. So we learn just the exact same things as medical doctors and plus. And so it's super exciting to me that it's an option and I want to tell everyone. So again, I appreciate getting on here um, because you, if you don't know it's an option, you can never make that choice. And so right. um, that's super, super important to me. I feel it's, it's medical freedom. It's informed consent, something, mm -hmm. how can you consent to it if you don't know it exists? Ooh. So um Yes, I love naturopathic medicine. It is definitely an option. Um, and I think that what's really unique about it is that one of its principles is to identify and treat the cause. Mm. And so we aren't about, naturopathic doctors are not about necessarily, here's a, oh, you have something wrong with you, here's a pill. Mm. We're like, mm, pause why is this wrong with you? And if we don't know, we take the time to try to figure it out. Now, that doesn't mean we want you to be in a bunch of pain until we figure it out, because it might take a while. Um, so we do treat symptoms, but we, if we do that, it's an acknowledgement of, okay, we want to calm things down while we're searching to figure out like why. And then once we figure out why, we're going to treat that. Ooh. And that principle of identifying and treating the cause is one of the reasons I'm so drawn to JAMP because I do believe that JAMP is one of the ways that we treat the cause. And mm -hmm. that um, connection between naturopathic medicine and JAMP as far as treating the cause uh, rather than putting a Band-Aid on something is what I'm going to focus my talk on at the conference. And Ooh. so I'm super excited to dig deeper into that theme and share that with the attendees. So you, you do everything else a uh, regular doctor does. You uh, prescribe medication, you take blood, you send out for labs, you hospitalize, you have uh, hospital privileges, so just to help enlighten people who don't understand what naturopathic medicine and you're not just using herbs, although you do use supplements, or although you do use vitamins and other type of things, um, but it's also there is the regular medicine. There's not, um, so there's two aspects. You treat the, in a more holistic way of viewing the person than just looking at the disease part and just hitting the disease part. You look at it as an overall ecos um, ecosystem. So you want to talk a little yes. bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So again, another one of our principles is treat the whole person. So we, um, we look at the whole person when it comes to um, our patients. So when we do adhere to and learn all the standards of care of conventional medicine. So we go through their algorithms, but what is super important to us is that each person is their own individual. So there is a general um, 
general uh, flow of how you identify and, and diagnose and treat disease that conventional medicine follows. And we are aware of that. We learn that very thoroughly. And then we think, you know, bigger picture, like, and so we zoom out and we're like, we have these other tools like herbal medicine. And we also zoom in to, okay, but that's great. That's generally what they find. But what about you? Like what's best for you as an individual? Cause you are your own unique person. And so this matrix over here may or may not apply to you. And that's something that we want to find out. We want to restore balance and health to the whole person. So we, we don't hyper-focus on, oh, I have I have pain in my wrist only. It's like, okay, what else is going on in your body that may be contributing to that pain um, or not? And so, yeah, treat the whole person is um, what we do. And again, we still learn everything conventional medical doctors learn and have that in our brains. And which means uh, we uh, do physical exam in the office. We draw blood as appropriate we can prescribe certain medications as needed. And sometimes that might look like you have um, strep throat. Mm. I have figured that out because I have an in-office test. I can just run real quick. Uh, and then it's a decision between me and you about, okay, so there's these herbs that are proven to be antibacterial. We have these as an option and I have this prescription that I've already sent into the pharmacy that you could go pick up for antibiotics. And it's okay. Where is your overall health? Where is your support right now? Are you able to take time off and stay home and heal and recover? Um, these herbs might take a little bit longer Ooh. than the antibiotics. And so what is the timeline in your life? And how do you want to approach this? Maybe it's starting the herbs. And if you're not better in 48 hours, it's, Hey, I, I need to pick up that antibiotic. Mm. And maybe you never have to pick up that antibiotic because the herbs are working just fine. Yeah. So it's, it's a shared decision-making process where mm. the patient gets told multiple options and their efficacy, like this one works, this one works, this, and then the, the benefits and the cons where it's like, this one may be more protective of your microbiome than this other option. Um, but then there's, and then there's the time, like this one might take a little bit longer than you maybe are willing to take mm. because you need to go do a thing. Um, whereas this one will like, it'll have a faster um, onset of healing. So there's, there's so much. And that's a lot of how the conversations look when I'm with my patients. It's about informing them of their options, which are very diverse, and then understanding their risks and their risk tolerance and what they want, their preference. Patient preference is, is huge for sure. And it's not me telling them what to do. It's us having a discussion and figuring out what's best for them, taking into consideration their uh, health goals and risk tolerance and everything else going on in their life. So it's unlike um, conventional medicine in that it's not top down, it's not top heavy, mm. it's not dictatorial, it's not this is how it is and this is what you're going to do, it's here's your options, this is how your body heals, this is how naturally you get better, this takes this long, this takes that long, the downside of this medication is that you kill off a lot of your good bacteria and it causes mm -hmm. problems like diarrhea and other things, or you, you know, you take the good and the bad and you move forward because you want to fly in four days. Exactly. exactly. And so that takes time. And so yeah. often working mm -hmm. with a naturopathic medicine, your appointment may be, is not three minutes spent with the doctor. It's, it's Ooh. longer. And so it's an yeah. investment and often but I mean, it's a great opportunity for me to be able to hear the story of the patient. What is going on in the patient's mind? Share with me that your concerns and I in building that relationship with them. And part of that is going back to, you know, getting to know their archetype and what their patterns are. Part of that is, is that, you know, hour long appointment they spend with me where I'm getting to know them. And in addition to diagnosing and treating and, and, and healings. 
and that is part of the healing process. Part of the healing process is time spent with others yeah. that care about you. Of course, you have to you have to hear what the problem is. There's no movement of the problem if we can't move our own feeling state towards it. If I can't express it to you, you're not going to know what you're treating. It's not going to be treated. If I can't tell you what it is, even if you run a lab and you tell me it's one thing and I say, no, it's another thing, whatever you're going to prescribe is not going to work because I'm not in the mm. that, that this is going to work for me. So I think mm -hmm. what you do is really important because you, unlike conventional medicine, you spend a lot of time with the patient. You try to understand their preferences, their wants, their needs, their fears. Um, fears, yes. And that that goes a long way in the treatment of the whole person instead of just treating or targeting the symptom, the, uh, the pathology itself, because the pathology is uh, part of a larger uh, ecosystem. And that's what JAMP does, right? So mm. JAMP's treatment is it, it treats the pathology as part of a larger ecosystem. It doesn't treat the pathology outside the ecosystem. You have to be involved in it to understand mm -hmm. why it's it's so many different pieces of everything that I do that makes me hold on or let go of whatever conflict I have or whatever illness I have or need, want, or not want. Sometimes that's what it is. Sometimes I need to be tired because I do not do that. And so being tired is not a symptom of a disease. It's a symptom of my psychological being. Yeah, okay. absolutely. It's, there's no, there's body and mind for the sake of discussion and like piecing those out, but Ooh. they're connected in our one thing. Mm -hmm. And so that is super important to treat them as one thing. And that is what JAMP does a hundred percent. And that is what the time spent with the patient allows to, allows me to address that, that mind body at once. Yeah. And that leads to healing when you're not well, it really focused. It gives people a sense of control. Mm. So I hear so many people feel like they go to the doctor, they get that five or six minutes, which is about all they get. And they don't feel heard. They don't feel part of the process. Um, sometimes it, they're just having medication thrown at them for the symptoms. And from what it sounds like, you really do the totality of the body, mind, spirit triad, helping people understand all parts of themselves and how each one might really apply to their health in whatever category that might be in that they're looking for. Yeah, ex exactly. A hundred, hundred percent. And, and I love it and it's effective. It's great. Yeah. It works. <laughs> it works. Very effective. Works. Just ask my blood pressure. It does work. <laughs> well, I wanted to thank you, Karen. And if you want to see Karen, Love to have you at the conference on the 13th, 14th, mm. or 15th. She's speaking on the 13th on our first day. She will be there for the entire conference. If you want to talk to her, if you want to mingle with us, we have several mixers at the conference for people to talk to each other and kind of interact and get to know each other and where they come from and what they do and how they do things. Uh, whether you're a novice or a professional, you're all welcome. Um, and besides, um, you will be able to meet Dr. Karen and learn a lot more about her private practice and about all the things that she does and how she integrates a naturopathic medicine, uh, with JAMP and how she manages this practice. Um, thank you, Dr. Karen. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Karen. We're would, excited to have you come. Would you yes, like thank you to, so much. Would you like to say something to our potential audience, um, our listeners? What would you like to say? In yeah. Yeah, I just want to say uh, 
to both of you, thank you again for inviting me on this uh, show. And I am super excited about the conference. It's an amazing opportunity to learn more about what the Institute does, to learn more about JAMP, to learn more about mind body um, and naturopathic medicine, because I'll be yeah. there and I'll be speaking. So I'm super pumped about that. And you can find me up until the conference. I am available. You, uh, you can go to my website, which is www bewellnatmed.com. Um, I'm also on Instagram. It's the same. It's bewellnatmed. And so in either of those places, you can go check out the website, schedule a free 15 minute consult to talk directly to me. Yes, that's right. You nice. can talk to your doctor before you make an appointment, um, which I think is super great. So I'm available for that. So feel free to check me out. And again, thank you both so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Take care. All right. See everybody soon. Take care.